What's up everybody, Raccoon here from RaccoonsCorner.com. In this video I will be reviewing Internet Explorer 9, the release candidate, which was released I don't know when, but I really want to review this as I think it might be important to some people. So let me go ahead here and open it up. Now one thing that I would like to point out, it's a major um, overhaul that you might notice when you first start it up, is it has a totally redesigned um, GUI or GUI interface. Um, the tabs are at the top instead of down here where they used to be right down here and um, these buttons were down here I believe in Internet Explorer 8 but overall I mean you can browse everything here like your favorites view and all that other stuff overall I think that is pretty great on Microsoft's part it looks really nice and clean I love it and um, another thing that I would like to point out is when you go to a new tab by default it is set up to make, show your most popular sites so these are my most popular sites and you can change this but um, you know if you want to change this go just go to internet options tabs settings and then when a new tab, tab is open to open up that now another neat feature is the pinned website list so if you right click Internet Explorer the logo you can pin a website like I can pin Google AdSense and it'll be there if I go like that and I can easily get to it or you could just go to your favorites and select it if you wanted to and on Microsoft's website I want to point this out when they say to compare browsers they say that Internet Explorer 9 has all of these features versus like Firefox and Chrome now I'm not sure if it actually does have that but if it does congratulations Microsoft and if you want to compare Internet Explorer 8 and 7 you can see that this is a lot better according to Microsoft's statistics but another thing on their um, compare I would like to point out is first of all the Opera browser is not on here and I don't know why I mean it might not be a major browser that not a lot of people use and also the Firefox is not in beta 8 anymore I believe it's in beta 10 or 11 somewhere around there but overall you know I've been using Internet Explorer 9 for about a few weeks a week or two and I haven't really experienced any trouble with it except for logging into my AdSense account when I go to Google AdSense it just keeps redirecting redirecting speaking of AdSense I want to show you another new feature when I open up AdSense right here you get a little bar at the bottom this is called the notification bar now usually this would probably pop up saying only secure content is displayed now for some this might be a major improvement if you thought that was annoying or others it might get, be a pain to look, keep looking down um, but also this doesn't only show only secure content is displayed it also shows um, do you want Internet Explorer to remember this password um, or something about your add-ons so I'm just gonna go ahead here and close that out that's pretty neat Microsoft um, but overall it's a great browser if you like the Internet Explorer series I mean if you want a nice one to use that's simple you could use this but as I said you know there's other browsers out there like Firefox I personally use Firefox and this was just a quick review thank you for watching guys and I hope you guys found this helpful and if you want to try this out give it a try um, you can visit my blog, raccoonscorner.com, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash raccoontech, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks guys.